Hi everybody. Okay, I'm going to show you a little YouTube video about what I want you to do for this week. This week we're working on block four. So as you go into your Canvas classroom, under week two, you're going to click on block four. Then you're going to scroll down to the uh, Greg Shorthand website and click there. It's going to open up in a new window. All right, if you go back to block four, directions are you're going to work uh, each chapter has about three units in it so the chapter one is consists of units one two and three so again you're going to make sure you practice 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 you want to write each word at least 10 to 20 times um, and you're also going to be learning some brief forms this week i want you to do the brief forms for the letters a and b so this is how you do it you go over to the greg site uh, under chapter one you're going to click on unit one and you're going to do the same thing kind of that you did last week. You're going to read through all of the materials because it teaches you how the words are sounded, how they're put together. Anytime you see sections like this that have the English letter and an English word, these are the sections that I want you to write in your pad. So again, you're going to write your name, the class, the block, And the date. Today's the twelfth. Okay. So as you see here, the first one is the letter K, which you practiced last week. That's the letter K. But what it's telling you in this section is that the letter K can also be the word can. So if you're writing shorthand, taking dictation, and you and somebody says the word can, you could just write the letter K, and then when you go back to read it, you would know that that is the word can. G can also be substituted for go or good. R is our, hour, or hour as in time. The letter L can be used as will or well, and so forth. So these, this is where you're going to start. You're going to write K slash can. And then you're just going to practice writing the letter K all the way across the page, reminding yourself that it could be the letter K or it could be the word can. And like I said, you're going to practice it about 20 times or as many times as you need to practice it in order to remember what the word is. Next one would be G, G or go or good. And the G's practice this way. It's a little bit longer than the K. You want to practice it for several lines all the way down. You're going to do that for each letter and word that's here. Uh, then you're going to read some more. It shows you how uh, they want you to start from the bottom of the pad over. Um, just read through all of the information. You're going to get down to number four. Here's some English words. This is how they put two symbols together to form two words. So for number four, you're going to label it number four. You are going to write, I will. And then you're going to practice writing, I will. I will. Just like that, all the way across. 10, 20, 30 times, however times it takes for you to be able to remember what you wrote. The next phrase is, he can, which consists of a little circle for he and the K for can. He can. He can. And you're going to practice writing that. Um, punctuation here, it shows you what all the punctuation is in shorthand, so I want you to practice the punctuation. So we're doing number five. Uh, the period is written like a little dash right on the line. So you're going to practice writing that all the way across. If it's a question mark, it's written as an X. If it's an exclamation point, uh, it would be written here, just like that, although it's not on the screen. But here, this is a question. Interrogation means question, so it's a little X. That would be your dash. That would be your hyphen, and that's how you write parentheses. Okay, when you get to number six, you're going to see the sentence drill here. Just go ahead and scroll over the sentence drill, move on to number seven, read. Read about marking vowels, read about picturing writing motion, read number 10. It's giving you all these hints. You're okay, going to get down to here. Here's another set of English words. So you're going to write this section. It's going to be E-K-E, 
which would be EK. Now, if you see this little line underneath here, this is the long and short vowel sounds, which you're learning a little bit further up, or you learned last week, the U sound, the long E sound. Um, I don't normally use those little lines underneath my words because I, if it says EK, I know it's not ek because ek isn't a word, so I would automat automatically pronounce it both ways to see which one made more sense. It's just easier for me to do it that way and it helps me remember it easier. I wouldn't remember what that little line is. You might find it easier to use the, the little line. So you need to remember you're developing your own handwriting, your own shorthand language. You're using the basic symbols to put your words together, but you want to put the words together the way that you hear them in your ear so that when you look at your shorthand, you know what you've written. So the Greg stuff is here to teach you the basic symbols and how to put them together, but you're developing your own handwriting. So this section I want you to do, then you're going to scroll down this section here, write 10 to 20 times. Um, you look over the sentences. When you get down to number 13, so this week for unit one, uh, number six and number 13 are dictations. Rather than looking at somebody else's shorthand and trying to figure out what they wrote, which is very difficult to do, you are going to go to the transcription key to this unit that's at the bottom. Click on the transcription key and you'll see all the English words for number six, which was the sentence drill on the other page, and for number 13, the reading and dictation practice. Now, what I want you to do is take your shorthand pad and I want you to practice writing the shorthand words for this section. So for number six, the first sentence is, he can go there in an hour. 